Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I was surfing my uh, Twitter feeds this morning and happened upon someone asking the question, uh, how could they attach a Word document to a tweet? The sad part was they were serious. Someone was actually trying to attach a, a Word document to a tweet. So I decided to retweet that, <clears throat> adding a slap to the end of the tweet. <laughs> uh, but the responses to that retweet were, were kind of surprising, uh, because apparently there there is kind of a way to do it. People were making recommendations, thinking that it was a somewhat legitimate question, which I suppose it was. But so help me, if there ever comes a day where people attach Word documents to tweets, I'm out of here. Some people recommended uploading the document to like a Google Docs and sharing that URL, uh, but a, a few other people recommended this particular website for sharing files or documents specifically uh, by way of Twitter. Say you've got a Word doc, Excel spreadsheet, PDF, photo, whatever. You could upload it here, filesocial.com. When you upload it and you log in with your Twitter credentials, if OAuth isn't working as it's not right now because apparently there's a, they're working through some bugs there, it will share that file back out to everybody. And of course, if you want to take a look at what everybody else has uploaded uh, to this point, you can. Uh, the, there's the uploaded files list right here, and there seems to be uh, quite a few Spanish-speaking uh, users of this website, quite a few PDFs and some images. But what makes this different from a lot of the, uh, the just the, the photo uh, sharing sites for Twitter is that you can upload photos or like PDFs or documents. So it's for any kind of file that you'd want to share by way of Twitter. I mean, again, it would blast out a short URL. So take a look, filesocial.com. Uh, if you need to tweet a file, don't host it on your own. Like you could be like wasting your own bandwidth. And plus it's a pain in the neck. If you've got a file that you want to upload to the net, there's probably no easier way to do it than through file social because the whole site is designed to help you Share files with everybody else. Filesocial.com. Register, and you don't even need to register. You just need your Twitter credentials, and uh, you'll be good to go. Filesocial.com. And I know there are a few ways that you can share files uh, back and forth uh, between people. Certainly, if it's a big file, uh, you know you, you may want to look into other options. We've uh, done videos on different services uh, for that kind of uh, file sharing. But if you have any other recommendations to make, something like this, or a useful service that, whether it ties into Twitter or any other social network, or just a useful service in general, let me know about it. That wasn't a pop-up. I was actually downloading a video in the background. That's a video that's going to be published in my channel real soon. Shh. Just got a sneak peek there. My email address is chris at perillo.com. That file, by the way, that, 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 that just downloaded and opened up was shared on filemail.com where you could upload a, a gigabyte for free without registering. <laughs> so I guess it was kind of relevant that it happened there. Did a video on that earlier. Anyway, uh, if you, much like the rest of us, are addicted to technology, you're more than welcome to join our community at geeks.perillo.com. Follow me on Twitter. I'm Chris Perillo over there. Of course, youtube.com slash locker gnome. And then you could also uh, join us in the chat room right here. Like, well, not here, here, virtually. We've got the website that's got the chat room integrated within the video that's live 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Whether I'm in this chair or not, something's always happening at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.